Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, or a third video in our series on how to create a room schedule and a room style schedule, uh, we're going to be filling in some blanks in regard to some of the entries we have here. What we're really interested in is, is, in, is, in, is, in, is in this area over here where it talks about the finishes, the floor finish, wall finish, base finish, and ceiling finish. What it's able to compute for us parametrically is the perimeter and the area of the room, and the department we're going to go ahead and fin uh, fill those in too. It's not really appropriate in a residential environment to put in a, a department or an occupancy uh, rating, but it uh, would be something you'd probably put in in your uh, commercial project. But uh, just for practice, we're going to fill in some of the blanks in there too. So, yeah, let's get started. We already have wallpaper for our wall finish. Let's also use paint. And it's always also a good idea too, instead of trying to identify, what we're trying to do is identify a specific paint color or a specific furniture type or a wall finish, uh, maybe wallpaper type uh, style color, uh, is to have another schedule that would be associated with some numbers we might be putting in here. For instance, like a paint color, instead of like putting in paint blue, blue might have uh, different qualifications to it. Uh, there's a lot of fancy names that typically go with uh, various colors and when you go to uh, go to pick out colors there are hundreds and hundreds of different colors to choose from. It might be a hundred blue colors to choose from uh, with a variety of different shades and tints. So what I would suggest you know, is just putting a number in here. So instead of calling it paint blue, why not uh, give it a number and then we'll have a subsequent schedule in that part of this class but perhaps a subsequent schedule that would show all the different uh, finishes with the numbers to it so you can uh, specify more clearly what those finishes are because otherwise if you put in something that's really long in here the schedule is going to get real long and it uh, might become more cumbersome than it really needs to be. Enough said, let's put in a number, let's uh, pick an arbitrary number, maybe 120. So you notice that if we scroll down and go to the next uh, line for a hallway if you go to this pull down area, those two entries that we just uh, put in, wallpaper and paint, suddenly uh, become a choice. And we're going to do the same thing for wallpaper too, maybe uh, put in a different number in there for 140. So now we should have, uh, yeah, we still have the, the two entries because we modified the first entry. It, uh, it modifies uh, the choices that we have. So we have paint-120 and wallpaper-140. There's another way of doing this, and we're going to create a, a room style schedule, and it's going to be like a schedule within a schedule. What it's going to do is it's going to identify certain rooms that might be very common, have the very uh, similar materials to them, and we're going to uh, assign various rooms to those, uh, you know, to that broad category, and it's going to be able to fill in some of the information for us. So. It probably doesn't explain it very well, but let's go ahead and uh, create one, and that'll explain it better. So we're going to create a room schedule, just like we did before. And uh, instead of calling it just a, a room schedule, instead of um, choosing just a schedule building components like we did before, we're going to do a schedule keys. And the key name is called room style. That's okay. Let's not change that. Let's just keep that. And then go to okay. And this time we're just going to add the elements that we believe are going to be associated. Those things are going to be variables within our schedule. We're going to add those things in here and then assign material qualities to those. So base finish, ceiling finish, oops, floor finish, and wall finish. Now let's put these back in order too. So floor finish comes first. We're going to keep the key name up here, by the way. Uh, do our wall finish second, base finish third, ceiling finish last, and then go to OK. Let's add a row. And the way you add a row, you can go up here to your ribbon and add a row that way if you like, or you can right click in here and add a new row that way too. So now we have two rows to play with. Key name. Let's make our entryways. And if you type in entry dash hall, we'll call that uh, you know, our entry hall layer. So whatever rooms that will have entryways or hallways to it will have a specific floor, wall, base finish, and ceiling finish associated with that. So floor finish. It already ordered them for us since uh, entry comes after two. But uh, let's make a floor finish with laminate. Perhaps. Wall finish, paint. Uh, let's give it a number 105 105. Base finish, we'll call that vinyl. B I N Y L. And we'll also give that a, a number two. Maybe it's going to be the same as the, the paint color, so it's going to be dash 105 perhaps. Then the ceiling finish, 
Typically the scene is usually white, not always, but uh, for this application it's going to be. So maybe dash zero zero one for the ceiling finish. Two. Let's make this bedrooms. So floor finish, uh, we'll make a carpet. And again a color, maybe 240 perhaps. Can I type again? Wall finish. How about wallpaper? Again, a uh, more specific, uh, we're going to assign a number to it. So maybe 306. Base finish. We're going to use vinyl again. Let's make that a different, car, a different uh, number, maybe 130. And then ceiling finish, we're going to choose paint 001. Okay, we got those two rooms done. Let's go ahead and save that. Well, it's automatically going to be saved, so let's go ahead and go to the room schedule and see what this does. We're going to finish this up in the next film. What we're going to be doing in this uh, room schedule is we're going to add a, an additional field, the room style field, and then we're going to assign the values from that field. It's going to help us populate this area in here.